my brothers, sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now talking to all UPND family members, sympathizers, and supporters. First of all, I would like to say something about what I have heard from this man called Imwiri. This man called Imwiri, or by the name of Kambwiri, has a rotten mouth. Kambwiri has a rotten mouth. It is not a surprise to me that when he decided with deceit that he was going to be part and parcel of UPND family members. I did not allow myself to fool myself. Even when he was struggling to go for his court cases, I refused not to be part and parcel of it because I knew from the way to go, I said, this man is full of nothing but deceitful. He himself, Gambwiri, wanted to become a president of UPND. He thought UPND was full of foolish people and ignorant people. We knew that this man is power hungry. That is why he left PF. Now when he left PF, he had no any other family members to be closer to him. The only shelter he decided to find was UPND. Who gave him a shelter, a peaceful shelter? But in the long run, he proved to us as members of UPND that he was, he was full of deceit to himself and to the people of Zambia. It is not long time ago that Kambwiri put a lot of insults to President Edgar Lungu. Insults which our president, His Excellency, the president of this republic, Hakainde Hichirema, never used any insulting language against any leader, including to President Edgar Lungu. He never did that. But Kambwiri, his mouth was full of nothing but insults. And we as UPND, we didn't al allow Kambwiri to proceed or to go on with his insults against other leaders. Then we became a thorn in his flesh. Kambwiri said so many things against President Lungu, against PF, against GBM, against other members, including Kampiongo, a former, mem a former minister of home affairs. He said so many things. If you open the album, you will see that Kambwiri is one of the most waste leaders UPF had. And it is good that we, we did not put him in our internal because we knew he was a lost ship. And I want to remind you the language, the tribal language, the tribal uh, sour mouth, mouth person he's using against Tongas. But remember, the same Kambwiri went to apologize to the Tongaland. You remember, it was not a long time ago. I want to remind you, Kambwiri went to say that, please Tongas, I made a mistake. I was being uh, instructed to insult you as Tongas. Today he has come back again because he has gone back to PF. Now he's trying to deceive people. He's trying to show that Kamwiri has got a perennial uh, water mouth in him that he can continue insulting the, the people in the southern province. But I would like to remind Kamwiri. I would like to remind Kamwiri. Tongas, please, Kamwiri, are not tribalists. Tongas are not tribalists. If Tongas were a tribalist, 
This country was not going to get independence. Please, can we understand? You are still very young, besides having a huge body in yourself, which is a borrowed body, by the way. I want to advise you, Kambi, Tongas are not tribalists. HH is not a tribalist. He is a national leader. Tongas are just like any other tribesmen in this country. Kambiri, were you young when Dr. Kaunda became the president in this country? Cage yourself, how old were you at that particular time? What was the contribution by the Tongas at that particular time? Mahinda Chona, Elijah Mdenda, and the rest of the Tonga leaders. They never cried to become president. You must know that. Beside Mazoka coming in to, to, to participate, and you don't, don't forget, Mazoka was a branch chairman in Kabulonga before he became a president. But you must ask yourself a question. Why did he decide to become a president of a political party? And come with you yourself come from Northern Province, wherever you come from, from, from that land. You became a president. Michael Sata became a president. And uh, 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 well, honorable, the most honorable, respected uh, man, Honorable Mtati, president. And this man, Kalawa, president. There's another man, Chanda, president. All of you who want to become president are from the Bembaland. How many are from the Tongaland, if you say they are tribalists? Why all of you, you want to become president? Why don't you leave then President uh, Ed Kalungu to rule this country? Why are you so jealous, you members, to, to feel yourself as president? Why? Are you the only people in this country that people must respect that only members can become the president? The answer is no. As I'm talking now, my two brothers who are sitting with me, they are both members. They are not like you. They are not like you. Look also at your central committee. You didn't like these other people. I know of an incident when you, you told somebody against your vice president, you said that he cannot be my vice president. You, you told somebody. You know what I'm talking about, Kamwiri. Don't think that you are Mr. Innocent. You are Mr. West in the politics of Zambia. Not long time ago, you come with. You said, Zambians, if I go back to, to, to PF, I'll, then I'll be a lunatic, take me to Chinama. So where can I find you? Because I want now to take you to Chinama, since you are now proved that you are a lunatic. Yeah. It came from your own mouth. You am really. Where can I find you? I want to take you to China, please. Because you said it on your own, your own mouth, with which you have got too much deceit. You are too deceitful to the people of Zambia. You are not fit to be a leader. Just concentrate with all the cases you 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 get you you got. Feel sorry for yourself. If you want redemption, don't talk about Tonga. Don't talk about HH. HH is a leader. HH is now in Kasama. HH is now in, in Ruapula. HH is in Northern Province. HH is in Muchinga. HH is all over. And Kambwiri, if you went to school, you are called a doctor. Oh, I don't know what, whether you are a doctor of insults, doctor of what and so forth, but do you know the difference of votes which between Edgar Lungu, President Edgar Lungu and President Haka in the Get the figures, which will show you that this man called the HH Haka in the is a national leader. He's not a branch chairman like you. You, you have never been a, a political president. You have just been a, a branch chairman. You were trying to find assistance from UPND so that you can be raised as a president. But we rejected that. You are not a man 
feet. All the meetings you can come with is about insults. Why? Why can't you just campaign for President Edgar Rung to win? By the way, does President Edgar Rung know that you, you were saying that you, you have been called back to go to PF to take over from Edgar Rung. Now, why are you not coming out now? What are you fearing? You have found Kamunyamata Kalungu is a very clever young man. He's more clever than you. So since you are a lunatic, please, I'm asking whoever can help me to go and take this man to China because he said it himself. So Tongas are not tribalists. You must be shameful. There are so many civil servants who are in the Tonga land. Most of these ministers you see in, in UNIP, in MMD, those I know, they grew up, some of them were born in Tongaland. They grew up there. And they got the education there. Some of them, they have families, they have built mansions, they are running a lot of good businesses there. But you continue to talk against the Tongas. Well, why, why, what have the Tongas done to you? Did they come to ask uh, uh, your food for you to continue insulting Tongas? Tongas, because they have realized that even voting pattern which you talk about, they don't vote on a tribal line. Because they are conscious men, they have clear brain to think who to vote. What about those Tongas in Eastern Province, those who, vote, who voted for President Edgar Rungu? What about those Tongas in, in Northern Province? I know of Tongas who are PF in Northern Province, Muchinga and other places. They are there. Why are they not being called tribalists? What about this guy who came from South Africa? Who was, who was, who have been with PF? Now you are talking about Tonga. So that one is a Tonga. He's also a tribalist, but he's supporting you. If you have, you have failed, you have failed. Don't accuse people on tribal line. You must be ashamed to come with it. Don't tell people in Shinsari. In Shinsari, we have a branch, we have a ward, we have a constituency to show you that people there, they are also supporters of UPND. Go to Northern Province. Northern Province, it is now uh, UPND infested. In fact, that's where me, as a national member of the uh, um, as a member of the national management, where I got the highest vote in Northern Province. Those were not Tongas who voted for me. They were members. Now, what are you talking about? Welcome, Willie. You should have also put your paper as a president so that people proves. How are you yourself to you prove to people that you are a better uh, leader? You are not a better leader. I don't know why, what is wrong with fat people. You are full of nothing but insults against the other people. HH is a smart president. He doesn't insult. He has respect to, to God. He has respect to the church. He has respect to, to the Bible. But you, Vagabonds, you are fond of insults too much. Stop that. Don't think that everybody in Chinsari is going to listen to you. As you are talking, as you are talking, you are addressing people. Others were murmuring. They were saying, ah, you should not show. Katushu kuchi fumine, sakwishu efyo chile fwaya. Those words were raised when you were talking to people. So I, I pity you. Whatever you are talking about, just struggle for your life, Wakamwiri. Talking against Tongas is too late for you. HH has been accepted by the people. Go to Eastern Province now. If you are sensible enough, you cannot go and tell people in Southern Pro in, in Eastern Province to go against the, uh, HH because it's a Tonga. Ah, how many Tonga? How many members have married the, the Tonga Tonga women? You have children there. Some of them are going to be village headmen. But you continue Tonga, 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 Akainde, Tonga, Tonga, Tonga. Shame for you. Shame for you. That's why when you are arrested, you pretend that you have got BP. It's because you insult people. God doesn't allow such things.
So you, Mr. Mwili, please, I pity you. There's the other point I want to raise over violence. People have talked too much about violence. ECZ is talking about the PF, UPND violence. The police speak. I've heard so many times uh, the Commissioner Katanga has been warning UPND, I'll break your backs, this and that. But now I've got a question which I want to know. Do you, Mr. Shindano at ECZ, do you or you don't know who starts violence? Who is the creator or perpetuator of violence in this country? Have you ever heard that the PF were addressing their meeting, a public meeting, private meeting, a rally, where you have seen a contingent of UPND cadres to go and attack them? The answer is no. And why is it so? That is a proof that UPND is not a perpetuator of violence. Every time UPND has a function, you see two Land Rovers, Land Cruisers, minibuses to go and attack UPND members. Now, I want somebody to give me an answer. What do you want UPND to do when a contingent of PF cadres have come to interrupt the meeting of UPND or to attack, what do you want them to do? To start laughing? Rejoicing? When people are being maimed by, by PF cutters? Even down there now, you cannot wear, you cannot wear a, 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 a cape written HH or UPND. You are taken to a place called Gamgod. Do you, the Inspector General, of police, Mr. Katang, I mean, Mr. Uh, Kanganja Kakoma. You don't know that in Soweto there, there is a place called Kamgodi, where innocent people are being tortured, being maimed, being searched. Are you not aware about that? There is a fellow there called Derek and the other one, I don't know, it's Gesham or some, somebody else. Those who are mistreating people, as long as you are wearing something red, which is comparable to, to UPND, you are taken to come God. So you think we are going to sit idly just to watch our people being beaten at come God, being mistreated, being tortured, and you, the police, you are aware about this. No one takes notice of uh, arresting those people. And they are not very far from Soweto Market Police. They are very close there. Why are they not being arrested? Are those people innocent? Are those people UPND? They are PF. Not long time ago, the printers, those who have got the machine, that's how they get their, ends, uh, uh, their, their life. Alex Mulenga was badly at attacked. His phone taken, searched. There were even people there from Northern Province. Those people from town center, they came to attack his office, broke his machine, took all his things from there. And then later on, they brought in those fellows from whatsoever, uh, they, uh, the, the place called Gamgod, to come and attack him, badly beaten. Up to now, no one has been arrested. But they are well-known people. Are those UPND? They, these are facts I will try to tell you. You let somebody challenge me on what I'm saying. Those are not UPND, they are PF cutters. People have been chased away from the market because they are putting on UPND change material or T-shirt. Does this market belong to them? They found, you UP, UPF, you found this market built by us, those who were in UNIP. We never chased even those who were, who were, who were against UNIP. They were not chased there from, from the market. But now you are chasing them left and right. Now you want people to sit idle just to watch what is going on and you call yourself the best party in this country, the best government in this country. You, did, you have done a lot of things against UPND members. I'm giving you examples of what you have had. Not long time ago, the PF with uh, 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 our, our, our own candidate, Manakatwe, 
visited the Bowling with their own their road show. They removed all our 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 posters. But after removing our posters, UPND never removed a single poster for PF to show you that we are peaceful people. You must be ashamed. PF, you must be ashamed to that. And not long time ago, when President Lungu was addressing a meeting at your secretariat when you were at your convention there, Innocent and his team were badly beaten and the vehicles broken. Were, were there any members of, P, of UPND? They were all PF. And the police they were watching. You can't arrest any member who belongs to PF because you fear to be fired. So even if people are being killed, you can't arrest anyone. But the accusation only says, no, we UPND, UPND. Not a long time ago, Kamba was accusing Inspector General over the Mandevu issue. Kamba, you are not fair. Yes, on that one I can defend Kanganja. You are not fair because Kanganja, Kanganja did not allow anyone to be killed, did not allow any, any property to be broken. But you, Kamba, you must blame yourself for allowing PF cadres to go and disrupt UPND roadshow, which a permit was, was given. Why did they do that? And I'm asking the Inspector General Kanganja that that vehicle, which was carrying a lot of stones, you know very well those stones were, 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 were put in those vehicles to go and stone the, PF, the UPND uh, members. So who, is, who has committed an offense there? Who committed an offense? Is it UPND or PF? No, if the law is fair, and I've read the Bible, where they say judges, you must not support uh, uh, fake witnesses. And this is the thing. Those people who wanted to go and attack, who started attacking UPND members, are the ones who should have been arrested. In fact, even the owner of that of those vehicles, why were those oh, those asylums given those vehicles just to go and attack UPND cars? It's not good. So UPND, we are not violent as what what you portray. You portray a bad picture against us, but we are peaceful people. I take you again to Munari. When we had that road show, did you witness any violence there? Did you? Nothing. But we saw the PF cadres. At Mutendere, they started gathering there until the police had to remove them. Say, no, you are the one creating problem. Now we are going to arrest you. That's how they dispersed. So you think we are going to be, you have been calling us cry babies, cry babies, cry babies. We are no longer cry babies. I want also to ask you, if a thief comes in your house, and he enters your bedroom, and then he starts attacking your wife or your children, and you have a knife in your bedroom, what are you going to do? To throw that knife to the, uh, to the thief, or you to start protecting your children? Please, come on, use your common sense. You must learn how to live in this life which you have been, which you have been given by God. Every individual, in this country has the right to protect his own right. He has got the right to protect his own right. He has got the right to protect his own family or himself as, as a person. So don't accuse UPND. There are so many things which you people, you have done. Violence is being perpetrated by PF cadres. Look in the, I've seen in the social media, where party cadres during the day when, when the President Edgar Lungu was commemorating the Defense Force uh, Day. Look at the military uniform the party cadres are wearing. Why are they wearing there? Demonstrating to you that these people are military men so that they can enter in any house, they can do anything. If, if those were, P, were UPND cadres, by now they should have been arrested, they should have been in custody. But at so many forums, we see them with full military combat. 
Even as we were going to Kanyama, we saw the party cadres on a certain, certain part of the throwing tear gas from there. They were not the police. Eh? There was, where do they get these, these tear gas? The party cadres. You cannot say, every time I hear, you know, we are owning uh, political parties, those who are perpetrating uh, 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 violence. But you know that is PF who starts that. We don't start them. Wherever there is a, a meeting of UPND, it ends peaceful. As long as UP, UP, uh, PF cadres don't come there. But when they come to attack, and then people want to defend themselves, you say PF and UPND. No, Mr. Shindano, you have a record. I want to ask you, who started that fight in Imbala? Mr. Shindano, you look, look at your, your documentation. Uh, what about in, 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 in Mbala and in, and in Akonde? Who started that fight? Who is at fault? Is it UPND or PF? Yeah, you must understand these things. These fellows at, uh, at uh, uh, like what happened in Kanyam, they started us. We were moving peacefully. If the police were not there, again, some people were going to die. You were going to complain that UPND are doing that. No, it's PF. And they mobilized there at six buses. They were going around there. If UPND leaders were not sensible enough, there was going to be another casualties there. So you must know, when UPND has a function and they have been, permit, been permitted by the police, you must not blame UPND when something else happens. It's wrong. It is wrong. You are the one who is causing this problem. PF, you are the one causing this problem. Everywhere you go is PF creating a problem, fighting people. What are you fearing? If you are popular, you will come with it. If you are popular in Chinsari, don't call people to attack others. Don't. Let people choose a leader they want on their own without forcing them. And UPND is moving swiftly. You, today you take this one, you give them money, they join you, tomorrow they run away, they come back to us. We don't chase them because we know that you are spending a lot of money. So, including Nawaki. Nawaki has got business in southern province there. Eh? Why is, he not, is she not being chased? Every time Nawaki. I think Nawaki has got a personal, Zambian people you must understand. Nawaki has got a very serious uh, personal grudge against HH as a person. There is something. Nawaki, if there is anything you want from this president of mine, or if you are ashamed to talk to him, please call me or call somebody so that whatever you want, you can be given. Because I know you have got a personal problem. Very big one. So, look, Lusaka. Uh, Nakonde and Imbala. Lusaka, you have, you have, uh, we have been uh, locked down by ECZ. Now I want to find out what is the problem? What has the UPND done? If it is about the incident in, in Mandevo, did you find the UPND truck or a vehicle with full of stone and pangas? The answer is no, it was PF. So why did you not ban the, their, their candidate? So you want to pretend that UPND is a violent party. We are not a violent party. As long as you allow PF to misbehave in the compounds, even if Jesus Christ today came to address a very big meeting, the, the whole Zambia, it will not finish because you are the one, the law enforcers, you are the one who, is in, who are encouraging this. Me, I'm a good friend of the police. I sympathize with my brothers, sisters in the police. Yes, you cannot arrest any member of PF. Not that you don't want to arrest them, but because you also want to look after your families. And we in UPND, we understand that. We understand very well that PF, you are bad people. You want to fire anyone 
Even though for no apparent reason you fire them. That is not a good thing. Try to change. The time of change has come. And the new slogan is that there is no third term in Zambia. And you must accept that HH is the, the, the president who is coming. He is now near the door. HH is not fighting for state house. Because I have heard UPN, PF leader say, no, you want to go to state house. Look, have you known Nkwazi house compared to HH's house? Because I've been there. I've grown up there. I know it there. So don't accuse the HH of fighting to go to state house. HH is not going to arrest you, President Lung. HH is not going to arrest you, Mr. Kanganja. HH is going to arrest the economy of this country. That's what the people of Zambia want. He will arrest the economy of this country. Because the economy is too high. Look at the bowl of cabbage. How much is it now? Eh? You have come back to Pamela. So I want to, I want to, uh, to go back to you. Uh, you have been, uh, Kambuli, you said no. You see, uh, Mazoka became the president, and after that, uh, uh, Akainde took over. Yes, Akainde took over because people, the whole country voted for him. That's how he became a president of UPND. It was not an inheritance. <coughs> you must understand this. It was not an inheritance. He went for vote. He applied to become a candidate. That's how he was voted in. So you must be ashamed when you make references of Kamwiris, of, of the late uh, respected man, Mazoka, and other people. No. Even you in, 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 in uh, PF, look the way you disregarded the guy's court. Eh? Why? A man who fought for PF. Eh? So how, what did you call that? You must be ashamed, Mr. Kamwiri. Eh? You, the same people, you started now trying to kneel down to uh, to president, uh, to vice president Guy Scott because he wanted support. Now you are back as a lunatic in the in the PF. Now you want to become a champion. No, that is wrong. In fact, Garin Como is not is not a tribalist. Karen Combo is a national leader. He is a leader. If you talk about Mwetwa, Karen Combo, and uh, Jack Mwimbu, they are not tribalists. They are not tribalists. For your information, Honorable Karen Combo, Honorable uh, Mwetwa, Honorable Jack Mwimbu, during the convention, you must know how the Zambian people voted. And you, I want to make you to be the most ashamed person. Honorable Narumango, our vice president, got more votes also in southern province. Is she a Tonga? That's a, that, that's a question I want to pose on you. Mucheleka got some votes from southern province. Is he a Tonga? Me, I, I was voted in number three. The whole UPND, including southern province. Am I a Tonga? Even in northern province, I got more votes. So what are you talking about, you baby elephant? Who calls himself a lunatic? So I want you to be ashamed of, of, of all what you are saying. So lastly, Zambian people, yes, we are not going to campaign. We abide by the law of, of, of ECZ. But I want to tell you, in Lusaka, if we find you you we know your tactics. You want to be meeting people 20 hours, 21 hours in some located house. We will tell the police. We will take them. We grab them by hand to say, here they are. We want to see how you are going to be arrested. Because we go by we go by what you say. We are not like you who are broken to what, what, has been, what has been said. You are talking about COVID-19. But you are the ones who are going in the name of uh, inspecting a... Uh, a government is a, a project. So stop. It must be 50 50. You mean COVID is only going to be found in a, in a public rally or roadshow? Even when you meet people to, by, by, by way of saying you are going for, uh, for inspection of projects, eh? Honorable 
Vice President Wainonge had a lot of meetings in Kapilimposh there, where you featured the Rume, Rube, Rube, uh, You are gone to North Western, Western Province. You had meetings with Kandoru. You went to the Bembaland with Kandoru. Are those not in a public meeting? So it is bad. I know your fear must be must be of a certain uh, uh, inclination in your mind. People have changed. You are not going to cheat them anymore. People have changed. They are now children of UPND. They have seen the mistakes you have done. You think when you tell people that you have, you have built a bridge at low, Long Acres, people are going to eat that bridge. Eh? You are lying. You are lying. You are telling no youth empowerment. You have empowered your 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 cadres at the Kurima Tower there who have got buses, this and that. And the more youth why papi how foolish are you? You are wasting time on the bus stops. You are all over in the bus stop. Where are youth? Please unfriend if you are there and there. kamba. Muri pa bus stop. Conductor, tendere, 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 tendere. Then somebody, a youth chairman who is just sitting, kunyumba kwake, apwele kutenga ndalama. He builds a lot of houses. He buys a lot of vehicles. He doesn't do You think PF is it? PF now is a part of criminals, part of crooks. So wake up. Wake up. Go and see what is happening at the, behind the state lodge there. See the houses they have built. See the tarmacs they have put there. In the compounds they put, they give us temporal tarmacs. Go behind there. Every leader has got a house that side. Eh? They have houses there. Someone has got a house which is 100 kilometers fence, wall fence, which is taller than the maximum prison fence. <laughs> eh? And then you say, no, party cutters. Time now if you can. You may have cut my market, my bus station. If you continue to torture people, you run away on their own because it's not good. Go to Mtendere. They had a project there. That project now, there are people have started throwing them, they have made them as a dustbin. A lot of money was spent there. So, lastly, I want to say, I know in Copper Belt there is an association, there is a committee they, they, of, of the civil servants who have been tortured by not receiving their own money. I'm supporting you, my brothers and sisters. The new government, HH, will fix it. And I'm very sure you get all your money which these people they have spent on party cadres. They can't give you the money. But you must be assured. HH is aware which the suffering which you are going through, which you are passing through. But the road of redemption is coming. HH will fix everything. HH is there. He's a man. He understands the problems of Zambian people. Don't, don't even listen to those who are talking about Tongas. No, there is no Tongas now. We are talking about the suffering of the people. Those who are suffering are not, are not only uh, Tongas. Even the members are suffering. Those in Chinsari, they are suffering. Those in Impika, they are suffering. Those in, uh, in Imbara, they are suffering. Eh? When you Chitimkuru, chief, Paramount Chief Chitimkuru, you were being rejected as a, to, to be installed as a chief. Was it Hakainde who was doing that? Was it not your own president? The same Kambuiri, the same Kandoru. Kandoru wanted the brother to become a chief. You, you, Chitimkuru. You, my brother, Chitimkuru. But these people are crooks. They will dump you very soon. They will dump you very soon. What happens in the Zambian politics? Immediately you dissolve parliament. That's when you see your, your true brothers. And you, my brother, President Ed Garungu, now you know who are your true brothers. Because majority of your people have run away from you. This is the fact, this is the truth.
All the money you give them for, for campaign, they are keeping, they are not giving the money to anybody. And you know, you are UPND cadres, don't listen. These people, they don't give money to their cadres. Here in Bowen, even their counselor cannot be given anything. So I'm not trying to, uh, uh, to appease anybody, but to say that UPND is a part of peace. There is no virus about it. And we are going to, co to continue observing whatever wrong things are there. And we condemn violence as UPND. Yes. We condemn, we don't allow violence. But to repeat more. To repeat more all these tactics. And for you, for your information, your PF, there is no uh, brain drain in your, uh, in your PF. The, you cannot plan anything which we don't do, we don't know. UPND has got uh, uh, planners, those people who understand. Violence cannot take us anywhere. You have lost it, and we are the government to be. Thank you very much.